<coughs> Star, <laughs> Star tells us to be quiet on the set, so we are. So I clear my throat once we get on the air right here. As we well <laughs> as we welcome you into the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show, joined by Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sabby Burnett. How are you, coach? I was fine until you started making fun of me about being bald. Hey, I said you look great. No, look you, at this, y'all. He looks wonderful, doesn't he? No, you didn't say that. It was Star that said that. It was Star. You do. I'm the only man that makes bald look beautiful. Well, I'm telling you. Me and Telly Savalas. <laughs> Most people don't even know who Telly Savalas is. That's right. We were talking about that before we come on, and you usually don the ball cap, but man, you make that look good, Coach. I'm serious. Uh, I'm serious too. My hair's getting thin. I'll be there one day, but I will not look anything as good as you, I promise. That's right. Man. <laughs> Boy, we're full of it. Full of it. We are full. People listening to the radio probably trying to find the video right now. Let yeah. me see what's going on. In last week's tennis action, we beat Sweetwater 50, 15 to 4. So yes. congratulations to them. Way to go, tennis people. See, I changed people. the subject on Yeah, it. that's it. And then volleyball, congratulations for defeating Lampasas at all three levels. So continuing their winning ways and and uh, excited about what they're doing. Me too. Tennis by district a week from tomorrow. That's correct. 1030 at Mineral Wells. Well, like Coach Blasick has got it going. Is that right, Coach? Uh, that would be... Right there, tennis. Argyle at Mineral Wells. I had three o'clock. Oh, do you? Okay. I better check to make sure that's right because you got me confused now. This gentleman over here told me ten thirty, but it, it, it I think it was ten thirty well, last I'm time. The buck. Remember, because we were talking about how long it took. We'll figure it out and get the time to you. Yeah. So when does volleyball play again? Uh, tomorrow against Gatesville, five o'clock. That'd be a good one at Gatesville. Ooh, big one. Big one. Okay, tied with Stephenville right now for first place still. Yep. Playoffs yeah. starting about a week and a half. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. I love doing. I do. I really do love. I like doing watching volleyball. our volleyball team because they're good. They are, and they play well together. You know, I never had called a volleyball game till I moved here in 2007. That was the first sporting event I think I did. Was What'd a you call with it? Mary Steed as the head coach. Really? And uh, we did a game at in Bront against Bront somebody by district. Oh, and it was exciting. <laughs> I had to learn all my phrases, you know, aces and digs and yeah, saves. Double and hits and double hits and absolutely, but it's fun. It's fun to watch when you got good teams. I sit there and watch it on TV all the time when the colleges play. Even the guys as well, they're pretty good. You know, they yeah. get this high over the oh, net. No, I mean, it's crazy how. You remember that Karch Carlisle with UCLA? The most famous What's the name? Karch Carlisle. Is it Karch Karaya? Karch Karaya. There you go. <laughs> Are we going back to mascots and stuff again? God <laughs> almighty. Yellow jackets. Oh, Karch Carlisle. <laughs> Good oh, news. man. <laughs> you remember him? No, I don't recall that guy. <laughs> Oh, man. I know Derek remembers Karch. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Karch Karaya? Yes. So, yeah, I think so. Holy moly, Carl. Yeah, I, I think that's right. All right, let's know. talk about something I actually know something about. W what? Well, <laughs> let me see. I have something written down. <laughs> what, what do you have? <laughs> the new Brownwood Lions football schedule. Yeah, that is new. I know, isn't it? Are you still on cloud nine? I am. I, I sure am. Announced on Friday, the DEC met, and you said it was unanimous. And it vote. was. Yeah, here's what's nice. Okay. Uh, like I said on the radio show, Dr. Young and I sat down and put together a plan. We thought it was a real good plan to offer, uh, number one, to rescind the two forfeits because UIL is not high on that and making those no contests. Then we submitted a, a, a common opponent plan to where if it came down to the end of the season and you do not have the capability of playing the games, there is a way to break ties. Hmm. Uh, so we submitted that, and then as smart as Dr. Young is, of course, we kept looking at that schedule and goes, hang on just a second. What if we had to, what if we were able to switch the schedule and play La Vega before we played Heritage? That would allow Heritage and Stephenville to play their game uh, instead of the 28th, mm. play it on the 30th, which is a regular schedule for them. Because I made the statement, the big one, the big catch up is going to be that game because that should have a lot of uh, bearing, uh, that Stephenville Heritage game. And then, uh, so we 
looked at it and sure enough we had an option two on there uh so we uh went to the dc meeting very prepared uh we gave them the plan just the way i said it and they were bucking it bucking it and then jamie harrison who is the second man in line at the uil uh came in and listened on and we asked him his stance on forfeits we asked him his stance on you know sort of where we were and and uh what was going on in our district and he uh it was nice to get there and express what we were trying to express on the fact that we made a poor decision not we they made a poor decision uh and that's why we're sitting in the position that we're at but we have once again another opportunity to rectify that poor decision and make a right decision for all kids and uh of course there was some scuttlebutt going on about da 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 and we care about kids i said no not really you care about yours let's care about all kids and got he got to hear a little bit of that and then when that plan wasn't as successful as we wanted to be we said okay if you don't like this one here's option two and now at that point after sharing option two with it and going through with it and telling them why we had option two and why we'd be willing to do that uh if they would allow us to switch the schedule uh i think at that point with the UIL on the phone, they realize that uh, we have given them multiple opportunities to make a wrong right, and uh, they made a motion, and uh, we voted on it, and it passed unanimously with uh, Alvareda, what is it, abstaining yeah. their vote because they didn't have to break a tie, and I was extremely excited about that. What it does is it gives our seniors an opportunity to play those football games that they've worked hard the course of their career, and they deserve to play. Uh, number two, it allows our uh, – our sub our younger kids an opportunity to play and gain more experience uh, for their future uh, with the disadvantages for us and I was clear to them we'll play uh, Alvarado on one day's practice uh, we're lucky I got word from the health department that we're actually going to get those guys back uh, Wednesday so we'll have two days to prepare uh, we'll uh, adjust our schedule uh, accordingly maybe practice in the morning and then after school during the day of course uh, because we have sub varsity games going on as well Thursday so coach will have to leave for those and we won't have the availability to have them on Thursday afternoon uh, so we'll adjust our schedule but and then we'll turn around and play walks of Hatchy life on three days uh, so is, is there a disadvantage for us sure there is but the I, I, when you wait it all you know when you put it all together and you weigh it I'd much rather be able to play those two games and then turn around and play La Vega on the second and then come back and play Heritage on the seventh and hopefully they'll have some you know big time implications on that game uh, we may win them all we may lose them all but the bottom line is this we're getting to play them and if you're going to get a victory over us you're going to have to go earn it well, we're just excited. We are going to get all of these games in. And as you said, Alvarado as normal this Friday night at 7.30. Right. Then Wednesday the 28th, Waxahachie Life. And then La Vega Monday the 2nd, Heritage Saturday the 7th. You just sent me a revised schedule earlier. All of these mm -hmm. games will be at 7.30. As of right now, they'll be at 7.30. Maybe coaches hadn't looked at that, but I don't want to play a Saturday game early. Right. I really don't like that. I'm going to do everything in my power to play it at 7.30. If not, we'll make those adjustments as they come. But the other games will be at 730 uh, you know sub varsity games this week we uh, Alvarado has gone to one team so we're really searching to find another team for our freshmen to play uh, next week Waxahachie told me that they only had one team so we're still searching for another freshman team to play there as well and then uh, I've asked Heritage if they want to go ahead and play the games that we missed on uh, on November the 5th uh, as we were scheduled to play Stephenville but all as all they got moved up all that changed so mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we'll be able to complete our our sub RC schedule as well because they deserve to finish our schedule as well amen how has this affected you mentioned briefly one of the teams how has this affected the rest of the district and their scheduling well as of so far it hasn't affected them one bit uh, after Friday it won't affect them at all now what what will happen instead of us we play Alvarado Friday mm -hmm. instead of playing Waxahachie on Friday we're moving that game up to Wednesday okay and then the other one that it will affect is Alvarado and uh uh, La Vega they will move their game from Friday to a Wednesday but after that and then of course we'll play La Vega on a Monday and La Vega was more than willing I will say this from the get-go they've been on our side understanding that we had been wronged and did it they do everything in their power to fix that but La Vega uh, and Alvarado uh, uh, of course on their vote agreed to move up to the five-day rule as well which was implemented way back when we had the hurricane season so uh, uh, that it will affect them as well the ones that will not be effective is Stephenville and Heritage 
Okay. Man, that's awesome. I am so excited about this. Our last three games will be on the road, but hey, we got football. They were going to be on the road anyway, just a that's different right. date. This that's is a different right. date. All right. That's, that's uh, man, that is great to hear. Of course, Alvarado home this week. Can you talk about ticket sales? Uh, sure, I can. Uh, let's re go over it again because it's been so long, but from 9 to 12 uh, and 1 to 4 today, you can borrow my pen if you need to, is uh, parents and administration. And then tomorrow from 9 to 12 and 1 to 4 is uh, uh, season ticket holders and employees. Okay. And then Wednesday, it'll be 1 to 7. That is general admission. That's for anybody. Okay. And then Thursday's the free for all, all remaining tickets, 9 to 12, 1 to 4. Uh, I, it's a maximum of four tickets as of now, but I do feel really good about being able to sell as many tickets as we want. I've been to two Alvarado games now, and they're not traveling very well. Even last week mm. at their homecoming, they didn't uh, oh, put wow. too many in the stands. So I don't want anybody to panic. I want to put as many people in the stands as we can. I think we're going to have plenty of tickets to do so. I also wanted to mention that uh, our ABC club, which is uh, alumni business community members, people that live in Brownwood that uh, are help, you know, raise funds needed uh, for us to do what we want to do, uh, facilities, that kind of stuff. We're still working to uh, raise the money that we need to get the blueprints drawn, which is about $25,000. Mm. We're still trying to raise the money to get those blueprints drawn so we can still work on the fact that we want, we feel we need to uh, upgrade our facilities. I wanted to mention that they're going to have a tailgate party uh, at the park where everybody tailgates. They're going to have pork chops. They're going to have jalapeno poppers, hamburgers, hot dogs, and sausage wraps. I'd encourage anybody uh, to go out early, be a part of that. And it's all donations. Uh, so anything that you give for your food or what you choose to eat is all donations. So I wanted to mention that on the radio show this week that uh, the ABC Club is uh, trying to raise funds so that we can uh, improve our facilities. And one of the ways they're doing it, other than, you know, we have a golf schedule a golf tournament scheduled later on in the year in the spring uh, but we're trying to raise some funds now and they're going to have a tailgate party and uh, just sort of you know that's a bunch of people that have the same thing in common they love the Brownwood Lions they love the kids and anything that you could give uh, would be grateful uh, go out there and have some pork chops or some jalapeno poppers or a hamburger or a hot dog or sausage wraps and, and, and enjoy the festivities and that'll be Friday that'll be Friday before, before the game, game. yes festival sir festival park I festival guess, park yeah festival park <laughs> <laughs> man, there. that sounds. Look at Stuckley. Man, he's licking his lips already That's over there. Man. About. And remember, Friday we do have volleyball going on. Uh, Five thirty at Stephenville. Wednesday we'll have JV football in Alvarado, and then we'll have our combined team will play Stephenville at Gordonwood Stadium starting at five o'clock. And we're still trying to find a matchup for our freshman uh, maroon team to play as well. All right, man. So we've got a busy week, and culminating with football on Friday, Alvarado here. I know the Lions Mothers Club wanted me to thank everybody that came by Sonic last Saturday and raised us some money for their scholarship and the banquet. Uh, didn't have the football players like right. they normally do, but though but they they're were still trying to do something. Absolutely, and appreciate what they do. The Mothers Club, they do a lot of stuff for the kids. And they do. They do appreciate They do a great job. Much. There's no doubt. Well, there is no doubt about that. All right, so we get ready. We'll talk more about Alvarado on Wednesday's show. I know you've seen them play, and we'll get a scouting report. Definitely a running team, looks like, or they're going to try to run anyway. Yep, I'll tell Coach Mauser and Coach Jones again, they like to throw the comeback to number 82. There you go. Watch <laughs> out for number 82. Yeah, he's All a right. returner from last year. He's I feel pretty, pretty, pretty good. good. So player. you mentioned practice earlier. Mm -hmm. Is that the, the whole team Wednesday? Yes, we will have everybody back Wednesday. Okay. Uh, the JV will practice Wednesday, and they'll go play on Thursday. Okay. The varsity will practice Wednesday during the period and after school and then thursday we'll probably practice before school during the period and after school okay so that we can get in what we need to be prepared to have is a good football team i know their record doesn't show up but they're a good football team no one's really has stopped them uh they just you know like sort of how we've been in the past they've been giving up a lot of points mm -hmm. defensively so uh yeah. like i say they're young it's you know sort of same thing they're young just like we are it's gonna be a good ball game but right now they're steamrolling yeah they're one of the few teams that have actually got all of their games in out yep. of our district yep. uh, two and six but uh, yeah looking forward to hearing more about alvarado alvarado hey i know we had uh, some of our junior high teams go to la vega i know our seventh grade a team came back with a win there were victorious some people once excited again. about yep. that yeah they're uh, Six and zero on the season now. Got a good group of kids. They're working really hard together. Uh, they got some good linemen. Got good skill kids.
kids. Uh, you know, playing good football. So congratulations to them. Uh, our eighth grade stumped their toe, but uh, like I said, they're working hard. And we, uh, well, you know, one of the blessings from, if there is a blessing in what's happened at the high school, it's allowed a bunch of the coordinators and myself to go over to uh, the junior high and work with the seventh and eighth graders. So we've really enjoyed that. Got to get to know them a little bit and uh, and maybe help, you know, with another set of eyes to help teach those kids what they need so they can continue to go out there and be successful. But, uh, you know, congratulations to that seventh grade group. They're excited. You know, they're undefeated, and that's a big deal. All right, man, exciting stuff. And, uh, man, I tell you what, lots going on. How about that Joey Logano? Uh, Sorry. Should I move on to something else? I don't want to say nothing about Joey Logano. I thought you were a Joey Logano no, fan. No, 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 no. Okay, then. We'll uh, move on to something he, else. He is not... He's a car racer, by the way, y'all. NASCAR. He is not. A, I'm not a fan. <laughs> All right. He's uh, into the playoff with the win. Yeah, yesterday. here you go. I know. Sorry. Poor salt in the wound, Carl. Hey, Cowboys tonight. Yep. Monday night football. We got Can they stop quarter. Kyler Murray? Is that who they're playing? Yeah, the Cardinals. I doubt it. I doubt it, too. <laughs> but I wish them luck. Me, too. Andy Dalton's a good guy. Yes, he is, and he's a good quarterback. He is. You know, if he leads the Cowboys to the playoffs, I was reading this morning, he could make up to $3 million extra on his contract. Well, I hope he does, just for him. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for him. I hope he does. He's a good quarterback. I'll say it again. I'm not I'm not afraid to uh, go out on a limb and say just to do as good a job as Dak, because I think he will. We have a feller here in town, Bart Johnson, used to catch a lot of passes yes, from sure him did. at TCU. They're he still sure good did. friends. Yep, he oh. sure did. Oh, Bart. Uh, you know, you talk about somebody that worked hard. I don't know if anybody ever worked harder than, than Bart. Than Bart, Bart when he got to TCU, walk on. Yeah, there's no doubt. I use him as an example a lot to talk to our kids. I shared that with my nephew the other day. You know, if you want to be great, you got to go do work when no one else is. And I've heard stories of how Bart would be out running routes mm -hmm. and working on his feet and doing things that he needed to be, not to be a Brownwood line. I mean, not to be a TCU Horn Frog, but to be a Brownwood exactly. line. Exactly. And what that did is propelled him to the next level to where he could go do great things at TCU. I mean, the rewards of work are are great. Amen. Uh, but I'd use him as an example all the time. If, if someone else is doing six reps, you better do ten. What are you going to do to make yourself better than your opponent? So uh, Amen. he's a great example of that. All right. Hey, I appreciate you joining me Friday. I know you were on the road. Mm -hmm. You probably just stopped for dinner in Stephenville. Almost. So. I saw my <laughs> mouth was watering. That's the only reason I said yeah. be able to get through that is because I was ready to eat. But I do appreciate your time all the time. You're always accommodating and you we bet. appreciate that after that breaking news on it was Friday. Good. And I was on cloud. I'm still on cloud I can I'm ready tell. To see, now I'm ready to see our kids. <laughs> Me too. I'm ready for Friday night. It's That's been right. a while. Yeah, I'm ready. Bring it on. Coach, great show today. Do you have anything else? Yeah, let's thank those that make this show possible. Auto Glass Magic, Avalon Custom Homes, Burner Auto Group, Syntex Bonnie and Paints, Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Edward Jones Investments, Heart of Texas Internal Medicine, Howard Enterprises, Humphrey Peets, Landmark Life, MC Bank, Painter Johnson Associates, Smith & Sharp Agency, Sonic Drive-In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, Willie's Tees, uh, KOXE, and I guess you, Carl. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm just so intimidated sitting by this guy on our video, though. Yuck. He's so much better looking than I am. La, la, la. I'm serious. Man, look at that. You got this one old fuddy-duddy right here. Man, at, at, and you got this right here. At, I always have the question, at what point does hair become singular? <laughs> A haircut is literally a haircut. Yes. And uh, thanks to Star, man, I just love our set. I went and got my man. haircut at, at Great Clips the other day. Yeah. And they said, sir, do you have a mask? I said, yes, I do. Let me go get out of the car. So I went and got it and put it on, walked in the door. They said, you can take it off. And I'm like, what? well, it was off while ago. <laughs> and then I sat down to get my haircut and before I could get droggy eyed and tired. She'd said, you're finished. I'm like, what? Well, did you cut anything? And then I looked up. I'm like, Where'd he go? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. No, they did a great job. Yeah. Uh, where, where'd you go? I still don't. I, if, I mean, if you only get half a haircut, why don't they charge you half the price? I don't understand It still costs that. $16. And when they run the clippers up here, it just goes tick, 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 <laughs> tick, tick, tick. <laughs> you know, I don't understand that. Yeah. You did think, you hear that, Julie? I should start getting cheaper haircuts think, with less well, hair. Well, you got hair. 
Well, yeah, but it's not as much as it used to be. Uh, I can show you some pictures. I had thick, big hair. At well, one I've time. showed the kids a couple of pictures of me when I was in high school, and they go, "Coach, you had hair." I'm like, "Well, hello. I wasn't born. I was no. I wasn't born bald either. I had hair when I was born." All right, I've never seen a pic. I've seen the pictures of you in helmets, but yeah. never without. I need to see one of those. You need I to bring a picture sometime. And I let's, got some. Let's show and no, tell. Okay. We don't need to show. Oh, come that. on now. There, you were quite the catch. I'm quite the looker. <laughs> You, you are, Carl, looking at 1987 Brownwood High School Most Handsome. Really? Yeah, go look at getting the archives of the books. Now, who was voting on that? Uh, apparently, I, you know, here's another <laughs> trivia for you. You know what? If uh, I wouldn't, if I'd have voted for myself as a junior, I'd have won then, too. Really? Yeah. But Shannon, I gave it to Shannon Dean because his was a senior. I'm like, that ain't fair. Well, Shannon deserved it. No, he didn't. <laughs> It was a tie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know him. He's a great guy. Was he? Yeah. What's his name? Shannon Dean. Great, so he got good, it great junior athlete. year. Yeah, we tied, so they gave it to the upper class. And I'm oh. like, that's bull. That's the first time I felt like someone liked me. Okay, well, you got to see pictures now. <laughs> Seriously, you bring a picture next time. Yes, sir. All right. I guess we're out of time. Star says, wrap it up. She's giving us the old. You know, my sister was side. most beautiful. Well, I don't doubt that now. You know where that comes from? She's my, still quite a... That comes from my mother. Okay. I see. That's where our looks came from. Yeah. And Shannon still got it, too. I'm just She saying. sure does. I don't. Mine went with my hair. <laughs> Whoo! He now, gone. Hardy? <laughs> oh, that boy out there. He's something else. Yeah. All right, Coach. It's been fun today. You bet. Have a great day, Brownwood. We'll visit on Wednesday. Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sabby Burnett, here on the Coach's Show every Monday and Wednesday here on KOXC. 101.3 KOXC.com and video at KOXC KBWD Facebook page. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh.